Welcome to Crypto 101. These are gonna be the best resources for beginners like you to start learning, understanding, and investing in crypto. Hey, welcome back. My name is Miles, or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell as well, so you don't miss videos just like this. So if you haven't already, now's the time to be getting on board with crypto. I'm gonna be going through a list of basically everything that I actually use myself, either have or presently are using to deepen my own understanding of crypto how it works, where it's going, why it's gonna change the world, why it's a revolution. Not only that, but also the investment thesis behind it. So yeah, great, it's gonna do all these cool things, but why should you put money into it or how should you put money into it, uh, money into it and when and how much and all of that. I'll go through these lists, uh, sorry, this list of resources. I'll tell you piece by piece, like why I think this resource is valuable for you, what I actually use it for myself. Um, maybe things that you should avoid as well while going through this list of resources. And ultimately, by the end of the video, I hope that you don't really have any excuse to not be able to jump on board with this because really now's the time to start getting on board and learning and understanding this crazy new emerging asset class, ultimately so that you can actually take advantage of it rather than being taken advantage of. So hopefully you'll have a nice list of resources that you can trust, um, places that you can start to learn and to increase your understanding, deepen your knowledge base. And without further ado, I'm gonna jump into my computer. I'm gonna show you the resources that I'm using to learn about firstly the fundamentals and also the investment thesis behind investing in crypto. I wanna start by giving you one piece of advice and that is to look for people who have real skin in the game. So crypto is attracting a crazy amount of just extreme human talent. That's really smart people who can see the potential who are builders. They're people who are building real companies and doing real things in this space. There are so many of them that you really don't need to come to people, honestly, like me, who aren't actually building anything in the space. So as much as possible, and all of the resources that I'm gonna give you are gonna be from people with real skin in the game. Either they're building companies in the space, so they're developers or they're researchers or they're coders, whatever else, um, or they're even finance guys, or at least they have skin in the game in, form, in the form of direct investments. So they've put their money where their mouth is and they're actually investing in crypto, not just making money telling people about it, okay? So that's just my first piece of advice. I'll give you some other tips and stuff as we go, but basically let's talk about fundamentals right now. All right, so the very first thing that you probably wanna do is have a real fundamental understanding of what Bitcoin is and how it actually works. And to that, I really just wanna point you to this YouTube video. It's the best one I've found that explains the entire concept um, as well as some of the higher level technical um, workings of the actual technology. I highly recommend that you start here and not somewhere else. Definitely don't skip ahead to the ones that I'm gonna talk about later in the video. Uh, this is the best video that I've seen. So check this out. I'm gonna provide obviously all the links down below in the video description. I'll probably also have a blog post where you can just get this summarized in text format as well. So check out probably the first link in the description. So watch this video to understand how Bitcoin works and you will probably be ahead of around about 95% of people who actually talk about Bitcoin. Next up, Real Vision Crypto. So I think you need a login to actually get into this website, but you know, links are gonna be below. Uh, it's free, so even if you do need to log in, you can access this for free. This is an entire like compendium, a database, and it's constantly being updated uh, about anything to do with crypto. It's high quality, they're in-depth interviews with, like I said before, people with skin in the game. So most of these interviews are with Either it's like finance people, fund managers as to why they are investing in Bitcoin or how they are investing in cryptocurrencies in general. There's also a lot of in-depth talks with, like I said before, it's like the developers who are creating these actual projects. They're talking about, um, here we've got these new ones, which I haven't watched yet. So you've got, actually that sounds really good, how blockchains work, a visual walkthrough. Um, they're pretty long videos, right? 46 minutes, 54 minutes, but mm, almost all of these, everyone that I've watched has been well worth the, the time spent basically. HBAR, Hedera, Hashgraph. So you can just see like Cosmos, Atom, um, that's another alternative blockchain. You can just go through these videos and just, I would say don't watch them all, pick the ones that you wanna learn about and just dive in. It's a really fantastic resource. So not only for fundamentals of understanding how particular projects work, how Ethereum works, how Bitcoin works, um, but there's also a forum. Um, I'd say for investment, so understanding the investment case behind Bitcoin, the founder of Real Vision, Raul Powell, is, he was one of the guys who actually inspired me to, to really like get into Bitcoin in a big way. These reports, these four reports, and you can also, I'll show you in a sec, their YouTube channel has a lot of the same information. Um, but these reports will summarize in written format why you should invest firstly in Bitcoin, secondly in Ethereum, and thirdly in cryptocurrency in general. And you can go through it. They've got sections on just Bitcoin, on just Ethereum and DeFi, on the broader ecosystem, 
<laughs> spend the time, go through this, watch the new videos as they come out. It's a really fantastic resource and it's free. And the other one is, this is a more specific video. So yeah, let's say you don't wanna go through the probably hundreds of hours that they have here. Um, I'll link this YouTube video as well, Raul Pal. Again, that's the founder of Real Vision. Um, here he provides a breakdown. It might even be one of those written reports as well. Just a really good breakdown of what he calls the exponential age, why crypto is a huge part of that and why it's the, sort of like the next uh, revolution of the exponential age. It's an hour and a half, but again, well worth watching. So that's that one. Next, I wanna share with you podcasts. So these are another really great source of information to, again, just be able to speak or understand or what's the better way of saying it, learn from people with skin in the game. So the first one is the Pomp Podcast. It's, I think, one of, if not the most popular crypto podcast. Could be wrong there, but it's definitely the first one that I started listening to. Um, he follows a really similar format in all of his interviews. He's really prolific, this guy, Anthony Pompliano. Um, most of these are really good podcasts. Again, just like heaps of interviews with people from finance, people who are developers, people who are you know just building products in the space. Again, skin in the game. Um, he puts out podcasts like almost every day. Again, I don't listen to all of them, but you can pick the ones that you think the topic sounds interesting or the background of the person sounds interesting. Dive into it and I guarantee that each one will teach you something um, that you didn't know before. So that's the POM podcast. The next one, this is a more recent one. Shout out to my good friend Robin for recommending this to me. I've only just started listening to it in the last couple of weeks. Um, so these are, it's two guys, I can't remember their names, but these, uh, they're very technical. And so they get into, uh, I think a lot more depth than the POM podcast does. They do talk about investing and the investment side of things. But for me, I'm finding it super interesting to learn more very specifically about the Ethereum ecosystem. These guys, the again, the two guys that run it, uh, they're very bullish on Ethereum, probably a bit more than I am, but um, regardless of their own bias. And here's another thing, I, I guess another tip of advice, learn to recognize the biases that the people have um, that when you're going through this process, because everyone has a bias. So the POM podcast, he's pure Bitcoin. He is 100% invested in Bitcoin. These guys on the Bankless podcast, they're completely Ethereum based. So they don't invest in Bitcoin, only in Ethereum and DeFi. Um, so everyone has their own bias and you've really got to learn to just juggle, you know, or, or at least develop your own biases that match your own beliefs and your personality. Um, but this again, podcast, super detailed, super interesting. No fluff in it. Uh, what are some, you know, these SOTN, that's state of the nation. I find these super useful. Uh, I'll go through some, some specific podcasts and resources in a bit, but this one highly recommended as well. Uh, and then the last one that I recommend is the A16 podcast. Now, A16 is Andreessen Horowitz. So they're actually a venture fund, I believe, a venture capital fund. Now, their website is also really good. And again, classic, like skin in the game. These guys are investing in companies that are building in the crypto space. So they're not trying to sell you anything. They're just trying to get more information out there to basically build up the entire space. So I'll provide this link to this website. Uh, they have articles and stuff, but most of it I found is in the podcast, which is here. And you can get really, really good detailed or summarized uh, breakdowns of just particular things in the ecosystem. So for example, NFTs, that's something I was learning about. That one I haven't watched yet, um, but that one is really good. That one's really good as well. And you can just go back through here as well. So that these guys are venture capitalists. They know what they're talking about on a technical level and they're investing and putting their money where their mouth is as well. Okay, some more podcasts and these are specific ones. So this is not like a overall podcast, but just like one episode that I wanna share with you. Uh, this one is Balaji with Tim Ferriss, who I love and is one of my idols. Um, check this one out. This is like, uh, it's like four hours long and it will blow your mind the way that he thinks about things and the, the links that he puts together. And basically his, I mean, a lot of his outlooks on the way the world is going, where it's going, uh, very much in line with what I already believe, but he will put it in a much more, <laughs> he's thought about it a lot more than I have basically. But if you wanna know about like the, but the risks associated with Bitcoin, Ethereum, where it's going, what's gonna happen, Check out this one, obviously links will be down below. And what else? The bankless one I just talked about, but this one I found very interesting, SOTN number 44. This is talking about Ethereum and how some of the changes that are gonna be happening in Ethereum are really gonna shift it towards being something very similar to Bitcoin or even better than Bitcoin as a store of value. So that's ultrasound money. I won't talk more about it, but I do highly recommend that one. Uh, some of these are a bit more technical, right? So if you are really just like at one-on-one -on -one level, maybe don't you know watch or listen to this one right now, but like come back to it in a few weeks or a month when you've got that foundation of what 
Bitcoin and Ethereum actually are, how they work. This one I mentioned before, all about NFTs. So again, if you just wanna dive into specific topics, um, this is another good one. And this one, I didn't mention this podcast actually, but it's another good one. We Study Billionaires, the Investors Podcast Network with uh, Preston Paish, I think his name is, this guy. Uh, but this one really gave me a lot of confidence to actually start investing my crypto into, uh, this one is with BlockFi, but there's also Celsius and other ones as well. In this podcast, they talk about the risks behind it and why it's actually not that risky at all. So I recommend that one as well. All right, so that was all the fundamental and the overall investment thesis stuff. And I really recommend that if, let's say you have 10 hours per week to spend learning this stuff, spend like 80% or eight hours of that time doing following the resources that I have already shown you. So that's like learning the big picture stuff as well as going into the detail, like how this stuff actually works and what it's going to change in the world. That's what will really pay off for you in the long term, I believe. The next ones that I'm gonna show you now are more or less more short-term focused. So that's like keeping up to date with the actual prices of the crypto markets, like how are things going? Uh, are things cheap? Are they expensive? Should I buy? Should I sell? Um, there's a lot of value in doing this as well, but really I think the you're doing a bit better favor for your future self if you spend most of the time learning the long-term stuff, the fundamentals, and less on the trading side. However, having said that, there is a lot of value in this. So I'm gonna show you the first channel that I watch and follow myself is Ben Cowan of Benjamin Cowan. That's into the cryptoverse. I have bought his product actually, it's really useful. And the thing that I like about Benjamin is that he talks, he has a maths PhD and he talks about things in terms of their risk and he quantifies risk, which most channels don't because most people can't do it because most people don't understand uh, how risk works. But he has a really, really great technical perspective on how things are looking, how the markets are looking. Um, so I do recommend, highly recommend Benjamin Cowan's channel. Another point while I'm on this is just going back to that first point of like having, following people who have skin in the game. He does, now he is selling a product and he is making a lot of money from the information that he presents. Watch out, be careful, be w very wary of YouTube channels that firstly, uh, try and sell you on leverage trading with like Bybit and other exchanges like that, basically where you can put in a little bit of money and then leverage up and make really big gains and also really big losses. That shit is dangerous. Most people who do it lose money. And you can see the, I think of honestly, the overall quality of these channels based on how hard they push that on you. So if they're pushing it on you pretty hard to, to go sign up for Bybit, they're gonna get referral commissions from that. Um, and if they don't like warn you about how dangerous it is, just avoid that channel, honestly. So Ben Cowan, he doesn't do any of that. He doesn't have ads even, I don't think. So I really like this channel. The other one that I like is Data Dash. So he is more of a, like a overall trader kind of guy. I just like his perspective because he does zoom out a lot. And again, it's a big picture that's more important than, than the short term. Some of his trades, uh, I, I don't agree with him that much. And it's it really is really interesting to follow these guys and just like look at it over time, like how well they actually do. I think Ben's approach probably works the best if you look at it over the long term. Um, but Data Dash, his name is Nicholas Merton. Um, his videos are also really quality too. So I do recommend them. He also doesn't push leveraged trading or buy bid and things like that, which I like. So the last two guys, I'd consider these more for like, <laughs> for the lighthearted side of, of crypto. Um, the first one is Alex Becker. I've been following Alex for a long time. He's a really good entrepreneur. He has uh, a SaaS company. So like, again, it's about skin in the game. He's invested in crypto and he has his other thing is like software companies. So he's not just trying to sell you information about crypto. Um, Alex freely admits that he doesn't really know what he's doing. So just take that with a grain of salt, but I just really like his style. I followed him for a while since when he was a, more of a marketing guru. Um, so honestly, his perspective is, is pretty refreshing in a lot of ways. So I do watch his videos. They're entertaining as well, but just, just be careful because he does high risk trading. Uh, he gets a lot of calls wrong. And so just understand what you're getting into. But I do watch Alex Becker's channel and I like it a lot. The last one is Tyler S. And this one is really, this guy's just so entertaining. Um, I think he does push, not push, but like he does have leverage trading links. So just be really careful of those links. But uh, this guy's honestly just funny. I won't say anything else, but I do like his channel. And last up, we have Twitter. So I'm pretty new to Twitter actually, but there is a lot of crypto has a lot of interesting stuff happening on Twitter. And I do recommend basically using it to get a good feel for firstly, I'd say people who are invested in the market and just talking about their own thoughts on where the market's going. Um, and then secondly, there's a lot of good analysis that you can get on Twitter as well. So here are just two that I'm going to recommend because again, I'm pretty new to it. Firstly is William Clemente. He does a lot of on-chain analysis. Um, so that's all this like publicly available transparent data that Bitcoin and Ethereum and other networks actually give everyone to look at. 
uh, he interprets that data to basically tell you, you know, whether it's, is it cheap now? Is it expensive? Like uh, who's selling, who's buying, um, which can be very useful and sometimes very reassuring as well. So William Clemente, he's good. Uh, the other guy's Willy Wu, just discovered this guy recently, but I think he's been around for a while. Uh, yeah, he definitely has. Same thing, on-chain analysis, and it's just good to, to see what these guys are seeing in the data itself. Now, the last one, I guess, is me. <laughs> I don't have many followers. Look at that, 134. But um, I'm enjoying using Twitter just as a stream of consciousness kind of thing. This is not the best resource for, for learning, honestly, but if you made it this far to this video, which is now we're at the end, go follow me on Twitter. Check it out. Uh, I do try and you know reply to messages and comments on it. And I'm basically just like, if this video took me like a month to actually make. I was meant to make it a while ago, but my thoughts and what I'm actually doing um, with crypto, with investing, whether I'm buying, whether I'm selling, I pretty much tweet it as I'm doing it. So go follow me on Twitter. And that's about it. Hope you've enjoyed this. The 101 best resources for beginners. Make sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell if you haven't already done so. Smash the like button. Leave me a comment down below if you want something else, a particular topic around crypto or anything else covered in another video. And I'll make that as soon as I can. And that's it. Bye.